Hello guys, Perfish here today. I will be presenting to you a problem that I've seen in modern Hot Wheels car culture. So, let's start right here. We have the Street Tuners Mazda RX-7 and the 180SX. You know, they look like perfectly normal castings. Uh, you got yourself some nice details, metal body, metal base, and real riders. See here, some pretty nice releases. But there is one thing that's really, you know, missing the, missing for these cars to become, you know, the final, the final product. And, uh, you know, since these street tuners, they're kind of based on modern uh, car culture, which is just uh, changing your coilovers and your wheels. So that changes the entire image of the car. And that must mean that the wheels is really important, you know. And... To prove my point right here, you can see these wheels, they look very plasticky. Now that's because they're they're unpainted. And I believe that this should not be a thing because we're paying premium prices here in Canada it's with taxes around $7 Canadian. So I'm paying 7 bucks for these sweet rides, but they got unpainted wheels. You know, this the RX-7 would look way better if it had chrome wheels. And this one would look better if it was yellow metallic or something. And it's not just the street tuners that had this problem. As you can see here, we got ourselves this nice Travel, but the whole image of the car, you know, it's been affected a little bit because of the fact that the wheels are gray and unpainted. Um, they just look really plasticky, and that's the problem, you know, because these are premium cars, not basic. Now, we even have our team transport, you know, the, the sweet truck over here. But the car... You know, as much as a nice of a nice release it is, the wheels they are uh, they're unpainted and they're gray. They, it makes it look pretty cheap. Uh, and I've seen somebody wheel swap the Ford Galaxy with chrome wheels. It looks so much better. And uh, this is an old, this is this is an older release. Uh, it's the Forza Ford GT. You can see here yet again the wheels. They look so uh, plasticky. And you also have this. Uh, Cruise Boulevard Beetle looks really great, but as I was saying before, the finishing touch, you know, with the wheels being in chrome or some form of color, yeah. But some cars like the R32 GTR, where the wheels unpainted, it kind of just makes sense because the wheels supposed to be black, so it looks it looks okay. It's not as bad. But when it's like gray and unpainted, it really uh, it really shows its effect. I mean, can you just imagine this really sweet Jaguar E-Type, right? But with the same kind of wheels as this Ford Galaxy right here, and in uh, gray, unpainted, and with you can see all the plastic kind of lines. It will look horrific, right? So uh, yeah, that's just my little rant on these Hogwarts car culture. Uh, just comment down below. Do you do you agree that your cars start to look kind of fake and plasticky, or uh, do you just not mind the unpainted wheels at all? And that's about it for this video. Till next time, this is Parfish out.